Good morning. What another beautiful day that the Lord has made. Amen. Amen. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Good morning once again from the St. Matthew Missionary Baptist Church at 409 Holloman Drive in College Station, Texas. Amen. We're so happy, elated, joyful to be able to come to you once again this morning. Amen. As we begin our Sunday school for this morning. Amen. Another day that God has been good. Amen. Another night that he's kept and watched over us. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful God that we serve. Amen. 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 He's so good. We, 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 we could never, amen, exclaim well enough uh, how good God is. Amen. Amen. And if you stop for just a moment and think about how good God is and then turn your attention for just a moment to how uh, ungrateful we are sometimes. Amen. It'll magnify. Amen. The glory of God. Amen. So we bring you greetings this morning from the St. Matthew family and from our pastor, Dr. Emo Cooper. Amen. We we're so joyful that you had an opportunity to join in with us this morning as we look to God's word. Our, our Sunday school lesson this morning will come from Psalms 100. Amen. A very familiar yet powerful passage of scripture. Amen. Amen. It's one of those things that if you Stop and think for a minute. One of those uh, scriptures that will make you want to shout. Amen. Make you want to run around. Tell somebody about the goodness of God. Amen. So as we prepare to look to our Sunday school lesson, our lesson titled this morning is a call to praise. This is the, 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 will be the continuing theme for our lesson in this quarter. Amen. Regarding praising God. Amen, amen. So at this time, we'll give you into the hands of our music ministry. They will bless us through song, and then we will come back and look to our lesson for this morning. Amen. <laughs> Every word of worship. 
on that one accord. Amen, amen. What a beautiful thing uh, to be able to give worship and praise to our God. Amen, because he's worthy, amen, of all of our praise. Amen. Before we get to our lesson, let us just pause for a moment for a word of prayer. Most gracious God, we come to you once again this morning. Uh, first of all, just saying thank you, amen, for this gift of another day. We thank you, God, because we realize that it's only because of your goodness, amen, that you watched over us all last night, amen, then woke us up this morning and allowed our eyes to come open. Behold, a brand new day. We thank you, God, for the blood is yet running warm in our veins, and uh, you gave us a reasonable portion of our health and strength, allowed us to move out of our beds this morning. Amen. In our right mind, able, amen, to move about our homes, to prepare ourselves to come to this house of worship. So we thank you this morning, God, because you're worthy of all of our praise. We come this morning, O oh Heavenly Father, with the understanding that we're living in times of trouble, in times of chaos, in times of confusion. Uh, be, please remind us, help us to keep our minds stayed on you, for heaven is not confused. Amen. There is no chaos in the kingdom. So we thank you, God. We thank you for allowing us access, amen, to you that we might give praises to you, that we might pray, tell you all about our situation with the expectation and the knowledge and understanding that you will hear and answer our prayer. So we're thankful, God, this morning. We pray for those that are uh, present in this place, for those that are uh, listening via our live stream. We just thank you, God, for all manner of praise and honor, recognizing, God, that you know us all together, but you know us individually. You understand our individual needs and our individual situations. So we just lay it at your feet this morning, O oh Heavenly Father, recognizing that you will bless us in the way that you see fit, in the way that is best for each and every one of us. So this morning we pray, God, as we look to this lesson, that you would open up our minds and our understanding that we might gain a deeper and a better understanding of how to seek and to serve you. Amen. I let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing and acceptable, Lord, in your sight. These things I ask in the name of your son, Jesus the Christ. In his name I do pray and ask it all. Amen. 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 A call to praise. Amen. Psalm 100. Amen. A psalm of praise. Hey Amen. This, this psalm is, is uh, attributed to Moses, a man writing about giving praise unto the Lord. Hey Amen. And, and, and uh, th this psalm is one of praise and worship to God, recognizing, hey Amen, the goodness of God. Hey Amen. Recognizing that He is worthy and deserving of our praise. Amen. No matter what our situation. Amen. Our, our, our first verse in our text, it says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye land, make a joyful noise. Now, this noise is not just any old random stuff. Amen. This noise is not talking about sounding brass and tinkling cymbal. Amen. This saying a joyful noise noise unto the Lord. I mean, a noise that heaven will recognize right. as praise. Right. Amen. We, we sometimes make a whole lot of noise. I, sometimes it's hard to decipher the praise up in there, but uh, we, we, this says make a joyful noise, and, 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 and not just a noise, but for a purpose, yeah. unto the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Make that noise unto the Lord that he might know that we know who he is, yeah. and we recognize his goodness. Amen. So this noise that we're making is, 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 is for a purpose. It, it's channeling, it's funneling in a certain direction. It is to the Lord. We're not playing to a wider audience. Amen. We, we, we're giving praise unto the Lord. Now, who ought to make this noise? Who, who, who is it that's invited, amen, to this noise party that is going on? And, and this, this text says, all ye land. Amen. Now, this, this is not just to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to any certain group of people. He didn't say St. Matthew make a joyful. He said all ye land. Yeah. Amen. That includes everybody. Yeah. Amen. Everybody. Because everybody has been a beneficiary of God's blessings. Yeah. Amen. All of us have been beneficiary of God's mercy, of his grace. Amen. So he said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands, inclusive of everybody. 
regardless of where you came from, regardless of your walk of life, of your occupation, regardless of what street you live on, what kind of car you drive, what your bank account look like, give praises unto the Lord. Yeah. Now, amen. Sometimes we praise God according to our condition. Yeah, right. Amen. We want to lift him up according to our situation. Amen. And I believe sometimes I've been guilty. My praise has been according to how big my problems are. Amen. We have that thing in reverse because the bigger your problem is, the bigger your praise. Right. Amen. Ought to be. I've learned that, that, that the, the harder life tries to press me down, if you just give God just a little more praise. Yeah. Amen. I, I promise you, he'll lift you up out of that dundrum. Amen. He, 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 he'll bring you up out of the darkness, the scripture says, into the marvelous light. Amen. So it says, serve the Lord. How? With gladness. Amen. Not, not, not. See, see, I used to serve him because mama made me. Come on now. I'm just telling the truth. I, and I know I ain't the only one. I used to show up I used because cause mama made me. But, but, but mama knew that sooner or later, you'd get to this point where you can serve him with gladness. Amen. You won't show up at church Sunday morning angry because somebody made you come. Amen. I, 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 I was just trying to say I'm grown enough, but I, I, I'll put it this way. I, I, I'm old enough to make my own decisions. Amen. So I could have just stayed at home this morning, but I served the Lord with gladness. Amen. I woke up excited. Amen. About the opportunity and the prospect of coming <clears throat> into this house of worship, being able to see like-minded people, being able to look to this word of God and talk about giving him praise, honor, and glory. Serve the Lord with gladness. What come before his presence with singing. In other words, be mindful how you come into the presence of the Lord. Amen. He told Moses, take off your shoes. This ground you're walking on is sacred ground. Amen. Come before his presence with singing. Don't, don't, don't come before the Lord just any old kind of way. Hey, man, we, we need to give some, we, we, we need to take a moment to try to cleanse our minds and our thoughts, and then we need to approach God with the honor that he is deserving of. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Sometimes we start talking to God and we hadn't even said good morning. Hey, Amen. Before we start telling God all about our problems. Hey, Amen. Ain't, ain't said, Lord, thank you for what you've already done. Hey, Amen. So come before his presence with singing. Isn't it good to know that we can come into the presence of God? That, that we can come into God's presence and he will, will, will hear and listen and pay attention to whatever our supplications are. Amen. What a wonderful God that we serve. Amen. A psalm of praise. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Understand, amen, that the Lord, he is God. Amen. God with a capital G. Amen. It didn't say he is one of the gods. Amen. It, he didn't say that he is a God. Amen. It just said he is. He is God. Amen. And it is he that has made us. Understand that, that, that you, are, you did not make yourself. Amen. It was he that made us. What? And not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Sometimes we act like we're responsible for our being. We, if, if, if I, I'm smart enough, I'm, I'm, I'm educated enough, I'm, 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 I got a strong will of mine, and everything that I've been able to accomplish has been because of my determination, been because of, of the, the fact that I committed myself to accomplishing this task. Amen. And I thank God that one day he let me know that it, it was me all the time. I, 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 I'm not jealous, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not envious, so I'll let you go on believing it was you. Yeah, amen. Uh, but, but it came a time where he said, now I need you to understand that, that none of that was you. It was all because of me. Yeah. Amen. I'm the one that made you. Amen. Amen. And so it's that in the way, then what it says, we are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Amen. So if we're the sheep, uh, what does that make him? The shepherd. The watcher, the overseer, yeah. the one that keeps us, yeah. the one that protects us. Yeah. Amen. The one that we often hear people talking about standing in the gap. And when I hear that, I, I recognize most of the time we have no idea what we're talking about. See, because if you're willing to stand in the gap, that means you're willing to get between me and whatever it is that's trying to get to me. Yeah. Amen. It, it became commonplace to say, I'm, I'm going to stand in the gap for you. 
Amen. But have you ever looked up and the gap was clear? Amen. When trouble came, amen, there was nobody standing in the gap. Amen. So he says that, 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 that we are as people, the sheep of whose pastor? His pastor. In other words, your very being, your sustenance, everything that you have belongs to him. Amen. And he's gracious enough to allow you to live in that house. Amen. He's gracious enough to allow you to drive that car. Amen. He, 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 he loves you enough to let you dress yourself so when you look in the mirror, you're pleased with yourself. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Now, and, and, and he, okay, that's, that's all right. I, it don't matter whether I like it or not. Just, I, I want you to be happy. Yeah. Amen. We are the sheep of his pasture. Yeah. Amen. And once we understand that, these first three verses puts us in the mind of, of praise. It puts us in the understanding uh, about this invitation to praise. Amen. An invitation to give God worship. And then he talks about in verse 4, he says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. This, this is how we ought to approach God. Yeah. Yeah. Enter into, in, in other words, when we come into the house, yeah. amen, when we enter into his gates, when we come to that place of worship, when we come to that place, now that place of worship might not necessarily be in a structure like this. Yeah. That, that, that place of worship might be that special place in your house. Amen. And wherever you might be standing at the time, uh, when we enter into his gates, that means when we approach God, yeah. wherever we are, not necessarily a physical structure, but in my mind. Yeah. Amen. When I turn my mind toward God, toward worship and praise, amen, when I enter into his gates, I ought to do so with thanksgiving. Yeah. Amen. Thankful and mindful of God that you would even give me a moment. Sure. Amen. That you would take a moment to listen to my feeble prayer. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we enter into his gates with thanksgiving. What? Into his courts with praise. Yeah. Amen. We ought to come in with the mindset that we're going to lift him up. Yeah. Lord, I'm going to give you praise. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to worship you. Amen. Before I start telling you about all of my problems. Yeah. Amen. Have you had somebody, have you had somebody start telling you about stuff that you already know? Amen. And, 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 and with me, sometimes I get frustrated because I, I already know that. And sometimes you want to cut them off. Amen. Just get to the point. I already know all of that. Amen. But I'm glad that he'll listen to my sad story, even though he knew it before I knew it. Amen. Amen. I'm glad he, he's a God that'll let me get some stuff off my chest. Amen. We come into his courts with praise and be thankful unto him. And do what? Bless his name. Amen. Be thankful unto him. Amen. We give thanksgiving and, and all manner to all sorts of things. Amen. We give thanks to our job, to our boss, to our spouse. To, we give praise and thanks to all. But he says, what? Give praise and give thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. Bless his name. In other words, uh, I, I give you praise not because of what, you, what you've done, but somebody wrote it down. They said, but because of who you are, I give you glory. Yeah, yeah. Just because of who you are, I give you praise. Amen. I give you praise and recognition that thou art God, and beside you there is none other. Amen. So, so I'm going to give you praise, and my praise is going to be directed toward you, and I'm going to call your name. Amen, because somebody in the midst might get confused, yeah. think I'm talking about them. <laughs> Amen, so I, I, I want you to, to understand that I'm giving praise to you. I, I heard all of my life since I was a kid uh, about somehow, about moaning so the devil won't know what you're talking about. I don't know, but I just reject that. I want that rascal to know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want him to know yeah. who, who it is that I'm talking about. Yeah. I want him to know who it is. I don't want no confusion. I want you to know that I'm giving praise to my God. <laughs> Amen. So, so when my praises go up, I don't want you to snatch any. Amen. Thinking it was sent up in your name. Amen. So we ought to call his name. Amen. So anybody in the midst uh, won't be confused. They'll know who your worship is to. In other words, uh, uh, we, we, we ought not pray generic prayers. Amen. Amen. I was asked 
when, I, when our city council began, to, they made a decision that they was going to have prayer before the council meeting. And, and the, the mayor came to me and asked me, I want you to be the first one. And we, he didn't give me any parameters because we could have settled it then. But, but that first meeting, and I said my prayer. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray and ask it all. And later on, somebody came to me and said, well, next time. Could you not? <laughs> could you not say Jesus? Amen. Could, could you just say him or uh, some generic? Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for that one opportunity. But you don't have to worry about me no more. <laughs> because I don't, I don't serve a generic God. Amen. Amen. I, I, I hear and I see songs that are supposed to be songs of worship. Amen. And they say him. And, and those generic terms, that way you can play it, you can sing it in the choir, or you can sing it in the club. Amen. Because they don't say Jesus. They don't say God. They don't say, they just say, I love him. And, and it's up to you who him ought to be. Amen. <laughs> but, but I serve a living God. Amen. An entity that is above all things. The, the scripture says, we, when, when, when I give praises unto my Lord in the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible said his name is above every name. That's why he gave him a name. God didn't just say he's my son. He, he called his name. Amen. So we ought to bless his name. Amen. For the Lord is what? He is good. For the Lord is, he is the essence of goodness. Amen. When Isaiah got lifted up and, and, and he was in the presence of God, and he said, oh, whoa, am I? When he looked at the glory of God. Amen. And see, sometimes we get, we get to thinking uh, kind of highly of ourselves. But if we just think about the glory of God, his majesty and his honor and his goodness. Amen. What? And it says, what? His mercy is everlasting. Amen. In other words, it don't run out. Yeah. Amen. And, 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 and for this, I am so grateful Amen. that his mercy is everlasting. Amen. Amen. Because I, I, I can't speak for anybody else, but I used up a pretty good portion of mine yesterday. Right. Amen. I'm glad when I woke up this morning. Yes, Amen. Somebody said, let it fall fresh yes, on me again this morning. In other words, yes. Amen. When I woke up, it, it was already deposited in my account. Yes. Amen. Because the moment I opened my eyes, amen, I needed some more. Amen. Amen. So I thank God. Amen. Because his mercy is everlasting. And then what? His truth. Huh? Endured to all. Gen In other words, he does not change. Amen. What was true then is true now. Amen. That's why you don't have to get up in the morning worrying about did somebody update the scriptures. Amen. God, God has not issued an update to his word. Right. Amen. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and, and they were struggling with some things, and I said, well, part of your problem is that you're looking in too many different places. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I'm telling you some of the interpretations that I have seen, amen, ha 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 have made it difficult, amen, to understand uh, 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 what it is that the scripture is really trying to tell us. Yes. Amen? And, and so we have to be mindful and careful about what it is, amen, that we give worship and praise to. Amen. 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 So, so it says, for the Lord is good, his mercy uh, endureth to all generations, his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. In other words, what was true yesterday, amen, is going to be true today. Yes, sir. Amen, amen, amen. Give me just a moment here. I, we, we having some technical difficulties. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. But God is still good. Yes, he is. Amen, amen. He, he, he is God and he's God all by himself. Yes. Amen, amen. Here we go. God, if we just give him a moment, he'll work it out. Amen, amen, amen. amen. So here we go. 
And so he says, it, it is he that, that has made us. He, he's putting us in the context, in the mind of what it is, the reason why we ought to give God praise. We've entered into his gates with thanksgiving. We have blessed his holy name. We have done all of those things and, and talked about the Lord is good, how his mercy is everlasting, his truth endured to all generations. Because we're, because God is good. Huh? Because God is good. He, he, he has given us all things. He has given us his mercy, his honor. He's given us glory. He's given us everything that we have. So we ought to be, 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 be mindful to give God all of his praise. Amen. Amen. He's good to us. Amen. He, he, he is good to us. He, he's, he's all that we ever need. Amen. So, so I love this psalm of praise as we talk about giving God the honor and the glory. For he is worthy of all of our praise. He, he is surely, amen, that which we, we, we ought to give thanks to. Amen. So, so when we think about giving praise to God, when we think about giving God honor and glory, amen, we ought to put in single-mindedness, amen, who we, in other words, I remember uh, as a little boy when we came into the house of worship, and I used to wonder why there was such a, a pause in the time when we did what they called devotion. Amen. So I had one of those old deacons explain to me, amen, we're prepared to enter into worship. Amen. And this devotion is intended to be exactly what it says. Amen. To turn your mind away from whatever it was that you were thinking about before. Amen. And devote your thoughts and your, 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 your mind to giving God praise and worship. Amen. So we ought to give God uninterrupted praise. Amen. Uninterrupted worship. Amen. Because he is worthy of our praise. Amen. He's good. In all manner of things. Amen. He's good and his mercy is ever. So when we think about how good God is, amen, it, 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 I heard a preacher this morning talk about how we need to set aside some time out of our busy schedule just between you and God. Amen. You ought to set aside some time just to communicate with you and God. Amen. Give God worship and praise and let God minister yeah. to you. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes we spend all of our time, we get on our knees and we will pray to God and we do all the talking. <laughs> Amen. I saw a sign the other day that somebody had, had posted and said, it's hard to hear what God is saying when you've already decided what he ought to be saying. <laughs> Amen. So sometimes we lift up our voice in praise and in worship, but we've already determined in our mind what God's response ought to be. Amen. I, I, I played that game with God before, and I got a very poignant message. Amen. Amen. I said and I waited. I'm going to be faithful, God. I've decided what I'm going to do, and I'm going to lay it right here <laughs> until you tell me when to move. About seven or eight months later, it still sat there. And I finally had nerve and asked God, look, I, 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 I'm waiting on you. Amen. To tell me what to do with that. And after a while, God reminded me, I, I never told you to, to do that. I, I didn't tell you to fill that stuff out. I, I didn't, you didn't ask me before you did it. You did it and then told me what I ought to do with it. Amen. Uh, amen. Be careful about our worship. And I praise. Amen. I worship. In other words, I worship and praise ought to be pure. It ought to be unadulterated. It ought to be, it ought not to be about none of this subliminal stuff. Amen. Amen. It, what, what did it say about making a joyful noise? Yeah. Amen. In other words, the noise and the praise and the worship ought to be free from my biases. Yeah. Amen. Because oftentimes I found out that I have, I, I, I try now to refrain from telling God what it is that he ought to do for me. Amen. Because I've asked for some stuff. Amen. <laughs> that if God had given it to me. Amen. I heard somebody say some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. Amen. As I've got older and I've had an opportunity to look back over my life. Man, when I think about what I call giving God praise. 
when I call giving God, I'm glad God said he, uh, you know, he, he's reminded what Jesus said on the cross, forgive him. He don't know what he's doing. Hey, Amen. Don't pay. He, he, he don't understand what it is that he's asking for. I'm glad that God always has my best interest in mind. Amen. So this scripture tells us about when we come into the presence of God. Amen. We ought to do so with thanksgiving. How we ought to approach God first, we ought to get our mind straight. Amen. And, and understand that we're about, amen, to come into the worship. Amen. That we're about to give God praise. So don't worry about the one that cut you off on the way to church this morning. Amen. To forget about the fact that you couldn't find that favorite pair of earrings that you wanted to wear. You, 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 you couldn't find the tie to match your suit. Amen. Amen. Just come and give God worship and praise. Amen. Get all of that off your mind because if you had a tie to wear, amen, it's only because God is good. Amen. And God don't matter if it's green, blue, yellow, orange. Amen. If God gave it to you, put it on and give God God worship and praise. Amen. Amen. So I'm so glad. I'm so thankful that the God that we serve is such an awesome God. Amen. That he gives us oftentimes the desires of our hearts, but he gives us those things that we are needful of. Amen. Amen. That he gives us those things and sometimes that is beyond what it is that we even ask for. Amen. Amen. I heard my mother say in her dying hour that that God is so good that he has given me things that I never even asked for. Amen. That's the kind of God that we serve. Amen. Amen. And that's why I try to be reminding myself, and even in my prayer, Lord, if there's anything that I'll fail to ask, I know you won't fail to grant. Amen. Because he's just that kind of God. In other words, so what, what, what I want us to understand this morning is that we need to understand what praise, what worship ought to look like. Amen. That, 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 that it's all right. Amen. To stand on your feet. Amen. And give God worship. Amen. If the spirit move you, it's all right. <laughs> to lift your hand in the worship. Hey, man, forget about who's sitting on the right or on the left. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about if your best friend showed up at church this morning and you don't want him to know, hey, man, that I don't know about you, but sometimes I've had to hold myself so tight. Hey, man, so nobody won't know <laughs> what's welling up on the inside. Hey, man, but I'm glad that I, I finally got a, a, a serious case of the I don't care. Hey, man, hey, man, let the tears roll. If they roll, amen. I don't care if everybody else is sitting down, amen. If the spirit move me, amen. If it says stand on your feet, amen. I'm gonna give him praise, amen. My worship might not look like yours, amen. But but I'm gonna praise him in my way, amen. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I think about what 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 Moses is writing about in this scripture, when I think about how good God is, amen. When I think about His wonderful. Uh, blessings to me. When I give him praise, it, it causes me, amen, to, 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 to tears to fall down my face. It causes me, amen, to stop and pause and, and, and think about, God, I, it's amazing the things that you brought me through. It is awesome the things that I claim that I endured, amen, the things that I went through, amen, but when I stop and think about it, Amen. It, it wasn't me because I couldn't have survived it. Amen. It's because of you. So when I know that, I don't mind making a joyful noise. Amen. Unto the Lord. Amen. I'm included in the all ye land. Amen. Amen. So, so we, we, when we think about how good God, I think about one preacher that talked about, he says that when it says here, it says that he has made us and not we ourselves. We are the people of his pastor. The preacher gave an example. He, he said that, that I, I am God. I belong to him, bought with a price. Yeah. And, 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 and he took out his handkerchief and he said, this, this handkerchief I bought. Yeah. Amen. And because it belongs to me, yeah. I can take this handkerchief and I can wipe my, wipe my brow with it. Or I can take it and wipe the mud from my shoes. Yeah. And the handkerchief can't complain because it belongs to me. I bought it. Right. Amen. I can use it for whatever purpose. I desire. And he said, just that's how it is with God. Amen. We belong to him. 
Hey, man, we ought to let God use us for his purpose. Hey, Amen. Any way that he desires. Hey, Amen. We ought to give worship and praise unto the God, unto God. A psalm of praise. Hey, Amen. I, I, as I said, our quarter this time will be uh, mainly focusing on praise and worship. Hey, Amen. Something that we ought to give thought to because in times like these, Amen. Sometimes if we might find it difficult. Amen. We think to worship. We think to give praise because of all the things that are going on. But we have to learn to look beyond all of this chaos and confusion. Amen. That's why the scripture reminds us to look toward the hills from whence cometh our help. Because see, if, if, if you look down, you're going to see all of this confusion. Amen. All of this chaos and, and all of this this stuff. I, I, I had a good friend of mine that, that was a military guy and when I was we were in the when I was attending the FBI Academy, we would, I, I was never was one for all that exercise stuff, but we had to. Amen. Amen. And we were out running and he, he would always say, Ain't no use of looking down, because there ain't no discharge on the ground. <laughs> Amen. Look up. That's where you help me. Amen. Look up toward the hills. That's where your help comes from. Yeah. Amen. So I worship. Give God all the worship and all the praise. Yeah. Amen. For he is worthy of all of our praise. Amen. Good morning. Thank you, God. Yeah. Amen. For another day's journey. Yeah. We thank you, God, for the praises uh, that you allow us to give unto you. And we pray, God, that you will accept them. Amen. As our, as our honor of you. We thank you, God, for the blessings that you've already bestowed upon us this morning. We thank you, God, because your grace and your mercy has brought us thus far. And I'm one who I don't believe that you brought me this far just to bring me this far. I believe, God, that you have greater and better things for us. Amen. So we, while we're here, we're going to lift up your name. Amen. We're going to give you all manner of honor and praise. So we thank you, God, as we prepare to close out this part of our worship service, prepare to move into the next. We pray and we invite your Holy Spirit to continue to dwell in this place. Amen. As we continue in obedience to your word. Amen. To lift you up. Amen. So that the whole world might see and honor you. These things we ask in the awesome name of Jesus the Christ. In whose name we do pray and ask it all. Amen. And amen. Amen. Thank you. 